Okay, Cecily Tiny with it, Accu with the forecast. Beautiful today. More of that tomorrow, and then things start to get a little interesting around here. Yeah, a little more complicated as we head through yeah. the weekend. Winter storm on the way today, though. So nice to see the sunshine again. It's been so long. Belmont Plateau showing sunny skies today. We've only had sunshine two of the past 12 days. Currently, we're taking a look live on Sky 6 City Hall. A little bit of a breeze out there along the Ben Franklin Parkway, but temperature is running slightly above average today, two degrees above average, so more seasonable. Looking ahead, tomorrow is going to be another bright sunny day and a little bit warmer than today. Then we have a cold front that rolls through on Thursday. That'll bring us a transition to slightly below average temperatures for a change. And then I'm tracking a weekend storm, not calling it a snowstorm because some areas will get snow, but other areas looking to be getting some heavy rain. It's all based on location for the winter storm, kind of typical of many winter storms in our area. Currently Philadelphia 42 degrees down from our high of 44, which is two degrees above average. Allentown 34, Trenton 37, Tabernacle 32, Cape May 41 and Wilmington 36 degrees. Satellite along with action radar showing clear skies today. We keep that tonight. Some high thin cirrus clouds push in tomorrow afternoon. So tonight with clear skies, it'll be cool, but really not that harsh for January. Actually, temperatures slightly above average. 32 Philadelphia, Wildwood the same, Allentown 29, Coatesville and Redding down to 30 degrees. Tomorrow, we'll do it again. A lot of sunshine in the Lehigh Valley with a high of 42 degrees. Philadelphia, plenty of sun, and then we get some of those high thin cirrus clouds later in the afternoon. Temperatures running slightly warmer than today, up to 47 degrees. If you're at the Jersey Shore, partly sunny with a high of 47 degrees. Now what I'm tracking for the weekend is still out over the ocean off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. So it's got a lot of real estate to go across the country, move down to the Gulf of Mexico, gather moisture. Last night I was talking about tracks. Now if you want snow, you want this low pressure to move farther to the south. That keeps more of that cool air in place. That would bring wet snow for much of our area. However, the latest trends are showing that this is unlikely, only giving this a 30% chance. The trends have been lifting it farther to the north, so it's tucked in. It pulls in warmer air off the ocean, and this cool air is not true deep Arctic air. So that means wet snow north and west, cool rain south and east. The big question is exactly where does that rain snow line set up? And we'll know that as we get closer to the weekend. So right now, the setup shows that it's a quick hitting storm. It's moving faster than it was was yesterday. So mainly Saturday night, I think probably moving in late sun or Saturday afternoon. Limited cold air to work with. It's marginal and above average ocean temperature. That ocean temperature 47 degrees. So that's why much of our area will be dealing with some rain. Parts of our region north and west dealing with snow. And as we get closer, we will be kind of cutting down the details and have a very detailed map. So stay with us as we get closer to the weekend. The exclusive AccuWeather 7 day forecast tomorrow another nice day. Mixture of sun and clouds with a high of 47 degrees. Thursday cold front rolls through. That brings us perhaps a sprinkle or a flurry. More clouds, breezy conditions at high 44 and then behind that cold front on Friday. Temperatures slightly below average 40 degrees. Clouds rolling in late in the day. Now Saturday much of the day just cloudy and cool with a high of 40 degrees. Well, we have issued that accurate alert for Saturday night. That's when we get the heaviest snow and rain. Also, the winds will be picking up, so this could cause a lot of travel problems, especially north and west. Since it's moving in faster, it's moving out faster as well. Rain and snow ends early on Sunday. It'll be windy 38 degrees. Monday, sun and cloud seasonable and Tuesday another storm. This is cutting to our northwest, and that means not white. It's rain for everyone could be heavy. So whatever falls mm. in the Poconos likely washed away on Tuesday and I'll have more details on Action News tonight yeah. at 11. So if the Poconos get it, people are going to have to get up there Sunday and Monday to take advantage of it. I see you're already planning. I know I'm thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, wheels are turning. Now. Hopping on Google.com <laughs> tonight. A